Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm going to talk to you today about how you can find the mean, the median, the range, and the mode in a set of numbers. So what are measures of center? Well, measures of center is a single number used to describe a set of numerical data. A measure of center describes a typical value from the data set. So what do they mean? If you're talking about the mean, you're talking about the amount each would have if the quantities were shared equally. So if we look at these dots and we say, well, what's the mean number? Well, if we shared them all equally, you can see that two would be the mean in that set of numbers. The median, the median is the middle value when the numbers are ordered from the least to greatest. The range is the difference between the largest and the smallest values. And the mode is the number that occurs most often. Let's look at these again. How do you find the mean? Well, to find the mean, or the average as it's sometimes called, there's two steps. The first one is you add up all the numbers to find the sum. So I added up 2, 3, 1, 1, and 3, and the sum of those numbers is 10. The second step is divide the sum, which is 10, by how many numbers you added up. Well, I added up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. The mean is 2. Well, let's look at the median. To find the median, the first step is put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So I took the 2, 3, 1, 1, 3, and I put them in order. Here they are, from least to greatest. And then the second step is you find the number that's in the middle of the set of numbers. In this case, case there's only one, so I circled it. But if there had been two, I would have added those two up, found the sum, and divided it by two. To find the range in a set of numbers, you take the biggest number, and in this case it's three, and you subtract the smallest number, and in this case it's one. Three minus one is two. And then the last one is the mode. To find the mode, or the number listed the most, you just look at the data and you can see that 1 and 3 are both listed more often than any other number. So 1 and 3 are the modes. Now we're going to try it with this set of data here. To find the mean, the first thing you do is you add up all the numbers and get the sum, and the sum is 20. The second thing you do is you take that 20 and you divide it by how many numbers you added up. In this case, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20 divided by 5, and the average or the mean is 4. Let's look at the median. To find the median, you're going to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, there they are, from least to greatest. And you're going to find the number that's in the middle of the set of numbers. And in this case, it's 3. The median is 3. Now we're going to find the range in this set of numbers. I'm going to take the biggest number, and I'm going to subtract the smallest. Well, the biggest number is 8. The smallest is 2. So the range of these numbers is 6. And to find the mode, the mode is the number that's listed the most. And in this set of numbers, 2 is the number that's listed the most. Let's try it again. First, we're going to try and find the mean. There are two steps. The first is to add up the numbers to find the sum. Okay, the sum is 32. And the second is to divide that sum by how many numbers you added up. I added up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So it's 32 divided by 8, and the mean is 4. Now we're going to find the median. 
To find the median, the first step is to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, there I have them in order from least to greatest. And then you're going to find the number that's in the middle of the set of numbers. Well, if you look at this, there's two numbers in the middle. When you have two numbers in the middle, you add them up. 2 plus 3 is 5, and you divide that by 2. So I would take the sum of these two numbers, and I would divide it by 2. And I would add the decimal point, float it up, and when I divide it, it would be 2.5. To find the range in this set of numbers, I'm going to take the biggest number, which is 10, and I'm going to subtract the smallest number, which is 0. So the range in this set of numbers is 10. And to find the mode, it's the number that's listed the most. And in this data, 2 is the number that's listed the most. It's listed three times, whereas the other numbers are listed fewer than that. Okay, let's try it again, this time with decimals in the number. To find the mean, you add the numbers up to find the sum. Don't forget if you don't see a decimal point in the number, there's an invisible one at the end. So when you line it up, make sure the 8 is in front of that decimal point. And then when you add them all up, you get 15.9. The second thing is to take that sum and divide it by how many numbers you added up. I added up 1, 2, 3 numbers. 15.9 divided by 3 is 5.3. Don't remember to float, don't forget to float the decimal point up. To find the range in this set of data, you're going to take the largest number, and in this case it's 8. If you were to change each one of these to money, this would be $5.20, this would be $8, and this would be $2.70. Remember, 8 is the largest. You take that one and you subtract the smallest. Don't forget, if you don't see the decimal point, there's one behind the number. So put it there and make sure in your problem, the decimal point is also behind the number here. And don't forget to borrow. And the mode, the mode is the number listed the, the most. And in this case, there is no mode. There is no number listed more than any other number. You did a great job.